Mr. Stearns, the Chairman of the Commerce Trade Consumer Protection Subcommittee, for an opening statement. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Um, and I want to commend you for bringing this package. And I want to commend your leadership and the leadership of Mr. Barton and Mr. Burr and others who provided a second alternative plan for a Medicare prescription drug. And just to, uh, to point out the difference between our party and uh, the folks who call us a radical plan and say we have a radical plan, our plan is voluntary, it provides choice, and it's market driven. All of these things are what made us uh, a very wealthy country today. Uh, I don't think being radical is uh, providing choice and voluntary uh, solutions. And again, the Democrats are here this afternoon, Mr. Chairman, with no plan at all. Uh, they've taken a pass, or AWOL, on Medicare prescription drug. No ideas, no plans, no action. They've taken the approach. It's easier just to uh, tear down an edifice than to build it up. So I think we're making significant progress, and we're trying to do our best. And of course, with their help and their amendments, which they can offer, they can all turn, uh, change in uh, this uh, prescription drug bill we have. Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment that uh, is also a voluntary. Uh, it's small scale. It's a controlled demonstration that's been successful with Medicaid, and I'm proposing it for Medicare. Uh, it would direct the secretary to design a demonstration project allowing the Medicare, uh, allowing for Medicare to use a cash amount of the value of benefits to, to participating uh, beneficiaries. Uh, they'd be using this uh, for those individuals involved with chronic. Uh, problems who are on Medicare. Uh, this has been very successful under the Medicaid program and to be analogous to the successful consumer directed care demonstration evaluation program known as cash and counseling in the Medicaid that's used particularly in my state of Florida, Arkansas, and New Jersey. Uh, this uh, particular program uh, has all the hallmarks of success under Medicaid in fact, uh, it's uh, now offered in major health plans in the private sector. In the 2003, the American Postal Workers Union uh, are the very first federal employee group with a consumer-directed care plan that's much like I'm proposing for Medicare. So, Mr. Chairman, I, um, I think this is so good that I urge you to make it part of the manager's amendment so that uh, we could be assured that it's part of the, uh, the bill in itself. Uh, my amendment is budget neutral. And I think uh, it provides uh, almost practically no opportunity for fraud. So consumer-directed care would infuse Medicare with choice and freedom. And those are the hallmarks of uh, the Republican Party and the plan that we have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chair, thanks.